heart attack, fast fatal heart impact, past painful scars, in fact, I blast tasteful bars and pass, I back up my actions, fact, don't ask, grab reactions, jack, attack with every word, then act with class, as they hear me snap, I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise, now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce, I ain't lost, I'm finally loose, pick a new so for excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used, everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace now, you're dead to me, so peace out, remember you're discreet now, get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here, and now, whenever we last left off with this series, we had Junto, and well, quite a bit of things have happened for him. Junto has found out that he is going to be a father, and well... He found that out whenever Ray, Belle, and Atoria all told him that they were all pregnant. Yeah, that was a shock to him. Now, with that being said, Deku was quite taken aback by that. And well, yikes. He never thought this day would come. He's going to be a father. That's insane. With this knowledge, Deku did decide that he has to do something about the eventual threat of the Demon Lord. He almost died in that last fight. He would have either had to kill that man millions of times, wearing down his own stamina and mana, to the point where he was pushed to a wall, or, well, his spirit could have been completely torn apart. So... The fact that he got out of that fight alive was pretty insane. Now, Junto is beginning to get everything in order for his plan. He's finishing up some side projects he's made and talking to kings and queens along with the princes and princesses. Since, yikes. Now, we do currently have about two days later. So about one, not one week, six days after the demon was defeated. Or the Nephilim, if you do want to be specific. Now, Deku is currently sitting down. As the prince and princesses are all sitting around him. And they're all at least holding mana crystals to communicate with the kings of the nations along with the queens. Now, Dominic... Deku is currently holding a mana crystal that he's able to hear from, as he is informing everybody about the current situation. Six days ago, a demon attacked his town, and he discovered a lot of information they believe will be quite helpful. Now, everybody they do at least try to prepare for the words Deku does say next, since he does tell all of them to sit the hell down. Six days ago, I discovered that the man who came after me, he came after me because he was accused of assassinating the demon lord. Apparently, she's been killed. Now, Deku does look at the faces of everybody sitting in the room. And he also does just hear all of their hearts skip about three or four beats. Now, that's quite crazy. And Deku does continue talking. From what he does understand, the demon who came to his town, they were trying to recruit him and take him back to the land of demons, wherever this place might be. Now, there's the fact that this man posed an actual threat to him that he's so concerned about. He's unaware of what type of magic demons can actually possess. Since not only is he one, but he's one that's been taught human magic. Now, all of them they do just think about how powerful Junto really is. He's not even using specialized cl- classifications of magic, yet he's already able to obliterate mountains and, well, reduce them to nothing. Now, 
Decoy does continue talking. Their forces are all in disarray. There is basically a war going on between the demons to try and find out who's going to hold that crown. And Deku, he wants to make an advance towards the enemy. Now, you do actually know where Laura does go to stand up, as she does express to Deku that she will be on his side for this, along with the ogres, and well, let's see. The ogres, the elves, the orcs, or ogres, the orcs, and, well, the lizardmen. Now, these races do go to immediately stand. As some of the other ones, they all do look around the table. Listen, everyone. I know many of you are quite reserved against this. However, that is just the case. I will find the land of the demons. I will infiltrate it. I will look to see exactly what's going on. And if need be, I myself will be the one to relay information back. I'm sending in a monocopy, or a monoclone. Hmm? A monoclone? Yes. I believe that my injuries have recovered enough for me to create four. So, I plan to send them in multiple directions. Once any all of them do head out, I want forces on standby. Many of them, well, are going to need to be there. Put them in all four corners that I head out to. Once one troop gets word about something happening from me, myself, I will make preparations to head that direction for whatever we find. You're serious. Very much so. Sylvia, Deku does say going to turn towards her. The situation that I'm currently trying to handle. There's a very large possibility that many people get involved. Not only that, I believe that demons might have already got infiltrated the nations. So we have to strike first before they do. Now, everyone does go to look around, as a large amount of arguing does ensue. And eventually it's brought to a vote. Now, Deku he does win with the majority. And Deku he does actually go to stand up. As he does look up and ask if the assassin for the Oni Nation or if the guard guardsman for it can please show himself. Now the man does directly appear in front of Junto, as the man he is currently sitting down on one of his knees, asking his lord, what is it? I need you to head back to my town. Immediately. You are trained in stealth magic, correct? Yes, my lord. What other specializations do you have? Along with being a specialized stealth magic user, sir, I also do possess great swordsmanship skills. Good. Head to that town. I need you to protect a certain place. A dojo full of members of the Black Wolf Clan. Now, as Junto does say those words, everybody does turn towards him. As he is going to turn around. Wait, did you just say what I... Yes, I did. As it turns out, all of them are still alive. They're all in my town. But, sir... There is a problem. This request, I can't. You know my orders are only to, I understand. Ray, Bell, Atoria. These are the ones you are guarded with protecting. Hmm? My lord, does that mean you've... Yes. This is your task. Now leave. Now. Everyone does stand there quite shocked. They know exactly what that guard is supposed to be protecting. Not the king, because he's the strongest. His heirs. Now, you do actually have where Faye and Laura do go to immediately stand up. As Laura, she does go running over to Junto. So, let me get this straight. Her saying, 
as she was going to grab away the shirt, asking if he's been that busy. It's only Ray Lee, Ray Bell, and Detoria. Those three. That's it. It better be. I know exactly how busy you are. What is that supposed to mean? You know what it means. You're all over every nation. Jeez, I wouldn't be surprised if you had a secret child. Hmm? Laura, you know I'm not like that. Besides, that's not really my style. I understand that. However, when were you going to tell us? Hmm. Well, I did just find out about three days ago. Hmm. I see. Congratulations. Now, Dekuyak just looked at Torrance, towards, look towards Faye, who she's currently trying to count on her hands a few things. What are you doing? Nothing. Her going to hide her hands behind her back. Now, Deku, he does inform them all. He's leaving. He has to go check on his projects. Now, as Deku does head towards the door, he does go to directly open a window and jump out of it. As everybody there are stuck staring at where he once was. That man, he's grown quite a bit. They know that he's, in the last couple of years, become more docile, or at least tamer. However, the situation that's uprising right now. It's relit that fire underneath him. He seems to be just like that man who came to them once before. That they've all heard stories about. Now. Deku, yeah. After he does head back to his town, he does try to get everything sorted. As a few days would have passed. And Deku, yeah. From the capital, he would have... Or, not from the capital... Whenever he got back to his town, he would have created four different copies, giving them all tasks and locations to head towards. Now, they all would have headed out, as Deku gets the finishing touches done on his projects. Now, we do actually have about, let's just call it three weeks later, where Deku is currently, at least, sitting in his brand new home, or house. And he's currently at least trying to think. Now, things are a bit weird. However, yeah. Ever since the news of him being a father reached the word of the other girls, it seems like all of them just suddenly moved over here. Now, Deku's quite aware of the excuses all of them are using. They all do want to be in this town. They love it here, along with that they do enjoy his company. And they're using the excuse that they can use their crystals to contact the kings, or, well, their parents, or simply just advisors in the royal capital. Yeah, he knows they're all full of shit, but he isn't, but he isn't going to say a single word about it. Now, Deku, he's just thinking about the future. And he's worried. As he does go to stand up and walk back inside. Now, he does actually see Belle going to chop up some vegetables. As he does walk over and ask her exactly if she's doing alright. I'm doing fine. You don't have to check on me every five minutes, you know? I know that. But you also do know... That, I'm worried. I understand that. I'm doing okay, though. I was feeling a bit sick this morning, but it passed. I think you might want to check on Atoria, though. Along with Ray. Hmm? Okay. Now, Deku would go to check up on both of them. Atoria, she's still lying in bed. And she doesn't want to get up. From what he understands, she's gotten quite lazy. 
now that she can't really go out and adventure and drink and party, or just take an afternoon nap, they've her her days have more or less turned into going out shopping and trying to enjoy things around town, and either coming home for a nap or going to eat somewhere. She's basically just well a slob. Now, technically, he really doesn't mind that. However, you do actually have where he does go to check up on Ray. Who, her progress, it's quite strange. He's noticed that she has gone from being this ruthless warrior who is just straightforward to this somewhat shy and timid girl. Who she was still very outgoing about her motives and what she did want to achieve. However, right now, it seems like something's off. She seems to be showing more of a maternal side. And Dekulis, he feels like he's in a dream. She's doing strange things that just seem out of character for her. He's not even really too sure how to respond about it. No. As Deku was checking up on Rei... Who was, let's see, was something out of character for her? I would say reading a book. Yeah, let's just say that. Now, as Deku was checking up on her, you actually were, he did actually just immediately get an entire large amount of information. Shot straight to his head. The moment Deku he did receive it, you actually were his face when stone cold. And Ray actually just turned to look towards Junto. As she does just look straight at him. Are you? I'm fine. However, I believe it's time to move troops. I see. Well then. <sighs> Go ahead. I will. Don't worry about it. My copy can fight for me. I can stay right here. No, no, it's okay. The others are around to help us. If you need to, you need to fight. <sighs> I get that, but still. I can't just... You need to. No. Deku, he would go to leave. As you do actually have whenever Deku, he does, go towards the dojo. He does look at the class that's currently being... Attended to. Tori and, well, Lee, they're both still teaching here. Along with Deku's personal guard, who was informed about at least doing this here and protecting the Black Wolf clan. Since Deku's informed the man that his orders, they will change a little bit. Now, this was all quite strange to the man. He doesn't really understand how this place does work, or operates. It's outside of anything he's ever seen before. But he has somewhat loosened up a bit. And he's at least able to know the difference from what to do. Now, Deku, he would have picked up, well, Tuska, and informed her about what's currently happening today. As she did go to leave, and put somebody else's head of the guard in her absence. Now, we do currently have Junto. Who? He is getting ready. The direction they're heading in isn't even really that far. They're closer to that border than any other one. So, it's about time that they do leave. Deku, he does inform many of the troops that are stationed here that they're heading out. And a large amount of them, they were quite confused. As Junto, he does go to bring his hand up and whisper something into his palm. Now, we do actually have where everybody they do go to look up after a large sound can be heard. And many different people from all over town they immediately stopped what they were doing to run outside and listen to what was going on. As, 
everybody, they saw something crazy. A giant floating beast that can be best described as, from our world, a giant, well, what was it called? Zeppelin. There we go. I had to think about that for a minute. Now, Deku, he's been waiting to unveil this machine. From what he does know, you basically could put a funnel of wind or wind magic into a large metal container. And it's like you could just put it inside of a large bottle. The process is very difficult and complicated, but with enough time, effort, and mana, it's possible. Now. Yeah. Deku, yeah. He's also found that helium is an element that does exist. It's one of the many elements on the periodic table that exist on this planet. He's tried going over many. From what he understands, there's possibly over 2,000 elements on the periodic table here. He's tried to categorize many of them. But that's nearly impossible since more and more just keep getting discovered. Now, Jakku, he does inform many of his soldiers that with this, they will be heading out towards the Demon Realm, or the Land of the Demons. And they will make base 50 miles from exactly where their destination is actually supposed to be. Now, this is quite strange, and Deku, he does inform his men about this. He will go on ahead, and whenever he does give the word, they will all advance. Now, many different men do look at each other, as they all do begin to start boarding onto the large battleship. Now, many of them are quite confused as to what to call this thing, and Deku he really hasn't really thought of a name for this thing. However, he does know that this is quite a powerful machine for this world. Now, Deku, yeah, he does go to leave. As he does at least do one little thing he knows might annoy everyone. He makes a monoclone and allows it to stay in the city. Now, with that, we do actually have our Deku, he does go towards the piloting bay, or the area where the ship is currently being steered. Now, Deku does ask the pilot if they have any experience with this, and they do just look directly at him, talking about how they've piloted ships on the ocean. However, this is nothing like that at all. I see. Don't get discouraged. It's basically the same thing. Sir, it is not. <laughs> Anyways. Now. You do actually where Tuska, she's looking around. And trying to understand everything. You built this? Hmm? Yeah. I gave some schematics to somebody. And they've fiddled around with the design before. Even I myself have had many different redesigns and phases about this one. Hmm? Really? Yeah. This was a concept I made before the train. However, the train was simpler to implement. However, the only th problem about it is it takes railroads. This, however, it's... Not only easier, but there's an air, there's a gas lighter than air filling the balloon. That basically takes a lot of the strain off of the engines. Meanwhile, the engines themselves, they're powered by large whirlwinds of tornadoes that spin a bunch of blades. Or, well, tornadoes that spin a few things and keep us moving. This thing is basically powered by magic. That's insane. Yeah, tell me about it. Hell, 
We could probably fly for days and not even realize it. Now, Deku he does go to leave. As Tasuka she's just looking around quite confused. Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys in the next part.